No way. You got a listing from someone that saw that video? That's awesome. That's how this works. People see the video, they know, like, and trust you more. And then number three, that's when they have a conversation about if they want to buy or sell with you. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the video that I did with another agent here at Coldwell Banker. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Now, here's what I want you to keep in mind. This is a video interview of Matt, the agent, with a local business owner. Now, why is it important to interview local business owners, Drew? I should be making promo videos about how awesome of an agent I am. I want to tell you that this video we're gonna make is really a promo video for you just as much as it is a promo video for that restaurant owner. Now, Matt's gonna go in, he's gonna talk, and all he's gonna do is just ask questions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make those questions, how to edit the video, and all of the creative thinking that goes into making that video. Stay tuned to the end, because at the end, I'm gonna show you the final product of what this video looks like. You don't wanna miss it. All right, let's jump in. So first thing I'm going to do, I need to think of questions I need to ask during this interview. To get those questions, I could sit and think about it. By the way, that's my son and my daughter and my beautiful wife. You can see my daughter ripping apart a Christmas gift. Actually, I just think she's playing with wrapping paper right there. There's no real gift. So I'm gonna go over here to something called ChatGPT. That's chat.openai.com. Now, while I'm in here, I can ask anything I want and this will answer. But the more specific my question, the better the result. So let's try. This is just like I'm having a conversation with someone. I'm going to say, can you write me a list of questions I can ask a local business, a local business owner slash chef for a video interview for my Instagram? Question mark. And let's see what it does. Now, it's take, oh, here we go. Here's some questions you can ask. All right, what are the questions? One, can you tell us about the history of your restaurant? What inspired you to become a chef? How do you source your ingredients? Can you walk us through a typical day in the life of a chef? Actually, I like that. The fourth one, what are some of your signature dishes? How to stay up to date with your food and trends? Oh, that's so cool. Look at all these great questions. And it did it for me in a matter of seconds. Now. I want you to lean in to what I'm saying right now because, uh-oh, because here's the thing. Uh, there you go, that's the right button. I want you to lean in because this week, I want you to go to a local business and I want you to ask one question, okay? And that question is, hey, just wondering, what would you recommend I get for lunch here for my spouse for Valentine's Day, for my partner for Valentine's Day? Or if it's a local shop that sells candles, walk in and say, hey, I'm just wondering, what kind of gift should I get for my partner for Valentine's Day? What do you recommend? And then let them talk. Because what you're doing is you're creating a relationship between you and the business owner, and it's answering a question that they want, asking a question that they want everyone to know the answer to. Okay, but I digress. Back to editing a video. So I have all these questions here, and now I'm gonna show you the video raw format, which means the entire unedited video of what we did in this project. So first I'm gonna do is open up Adobe Premiere Rush. Okay, and as that's opening, I'm going to create a new project. And all I'm gonna do first off is just find that video. So I know for a fact that the video is on my hard drive. I know I saved it under this folder. I know it's under a folder I named for Matt. So I go back into the video, and here's the video right there, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just name this. I move my mouse down here, to the project name. I'm gonna name it Matt's Video. Now when I click Create, it's going to expand the video, and it's going to give me the opportunity to manipulate it. Now here's all we're doing, all right? Here's all we're doing. Let's make my bubble a little bigger here. I'm gonna take this piece of paper. We can see that, right? And now I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a cut right here, and then I'm gonna take scissors and cut right here. So all I'm left with is this little piece of paper, okay? And I'm going to do that again and again and again until I put the pieces back together to make whatever design I want. It's like when you were in elementary school, remember, and you're in the small classroom doing fun activities, you're excited, then they hand you the blunt pair of scissors, 
meaning it's not sharp. It's got the little blunt end so you don't hurt yourself and a piece of paper and the teacher folds it and then you take the scissors and you start cutting very gently until you cut out a triangle, a square, and then when you're done and you unravel it, you have this masterpiece. That's exactly what we're doing. All right, let's dive in. So this is the raw video here. I'm gonna make myself small again. This is the raw video of the interview. Talking into the right microphone now. Steven, talk. Hey, how you doing? Yep, Steven's talking. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot a quick interview video. We're shooting on the iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, we're shooting on a tripod using the Rode Lav wireless phone microphones. All you're gonna do, dude, is you're just gonna ask him questions. I don't care what you have to say. I wanna know more about him and his incredibly sexy Australian and British accent, okay? I don't want to hear what the agent has to say. I wanna hear about the business. This isn't a chance for him to throw in a line like, oh, I've sold so many homes here in this town. I need nourishment. Where should I eat? No. This is all about the business. This is about someone else, not about us as an agent. And in doing so, it's going to supercharge his marketing. Remember, he was raised in the forest by wolves in the southern part of Australia. All right? I'm gonna, f <laughs> I'm gonna feed you the questions, and then what we're gonna do is you're gonna go in here, we're gonna shoot some B-roll of him cutting and chopping some things, right? And then we're gonna go from there, you ready? Yeah. All right, cool. Maybe do some blind shooting. Drew, I, I don't have a videographer like you that can stand here and videotape for me. No, you do. You just get a tripod. And if you remember, I suggested you pair up with another agent, right? Because we all are working together. We're not necessarily competitors. And when you work together, you get a better final output. Put the phone on a tripod and then ask the questions. We'll, uh, we'll chop my eyes first. Well, so Eat a bit. We're good here. Right, we're we're gonna get our planes yeah. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go for drinks. First question is, oh, by the way, yeah. don't look at me. Yes. All right. Just don't All right. look at the camera. Steven, step into frame a little more. Now, what is the name of your restaurant? What is the name of your restaurant? Feast Catering of Westfield. Ah. Okay, so that's where we're gonna start this whole thing. We want it to be just about 30 seconds. There we go. All right. All right. Steven, step into frame a little more. I'm gonna take my mouse and drag this little record needle Backwards or forwards? It's back when you had one of those things called a VHS or an eight track where you hit fast forward and rewind. And funny thing, like my kids will never know what like a DVD was. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, next. Step into frame a little more. Now, what is the name of your restaurant? So I'm gonna find the place where he asks that question. I hit the space bar to stop and start the video. What is the name of your restaurant? What is the name of your restaurant? Do you see how Matt's about to say it's, right? Matt is about to say it's, I'm going to hit the scissors right here. Move my mouse over to this scissor, click it. And it just cut that first part out like a piece of paper. I just cut the first part out. And when I click on the piece that I cut and I hit the delete key, there you go. And it's gone. Now watch what we have. What is the name of your restaurant? Feast Catering of Westfield. That's all I want him to say. Feast Catering of Westfield. Announce the name of the restaurant. Now I can hit the plus button on my keyboard to zoom in, right? So remember if you have a phone, and you have a picture you really like and you go like this, you go like this, it zooms in. That's all I did. So I'm gonna find where he stops asking that question. Of Westfield. Where he stops answering it. Westfield. Ah. Feast Catering Westfield. Ah. of Westfield. Move this back. Of Westfield. And then I'm gonna hit the scissor again. Because what I wanna do is I wanna create a little piece of paper that has him saying that on it. What is the name of your restaurant? Feast, Feast Catering, Catering of Westfield. Westfield. That's all I want. So now I'm going to find the next part of this video, which is where he asks the question. If I come here today for lunch, what should I have for lunch? Now you'll see if we watch this whole video, you'll see there's a lot of questions that I asked that were all powered by chat GPT. Ah, what sets your restaurant in Westfield apart from other restaurants? Uh, I guess the freshness, uh, the fact that I'm the owner and the executive chef, yep. so hands on all day long, local ingredients, local food. So you might ask, why didn't I add this question or leave this in the video? And why wouldn't you add this question in the video? Because it seems like the perfect question for someone to ask, right? What sets you apart? I would rather show you what sets me apart than tell you right off the bat. Local ingredients, uh, I own it, I'm the chef. 
Okay, that's cool. All the other restaurants might have the same thing, but let's find something else that's going to position you differently than the other local restaurants. Again, this is as much of a promo video for this chef as it is for Matt. Hi. So let's find that question. I know there's a question in here where he asks, uh, what should I have for lunch if I come here? So I think that question is like right here. Scrap your story. No, we'll find, I'm just moving my mouse with the record needle forward. That's it. What's the scrappiest? And I'm just trying to find that. Oh, what are you, some of your most? So right here. What are some of your most popular menu items? Nope, one more time. I should get if I come here for lunch. So I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's the one thing I should get? Uh, for lunch, half soup and sandwich, great soups, great, great sandwiches. sandwiches. Half soup or sandwich. So let's go back to the part where he starts talking. Now you notice that Matt goes like this and points to him as he asks that question. So pointing to him while he asks that question is huge because it's a marker that I know he's about to start asking that question. So watch. If I come here for lunch. So, so right here, I'm just fast forwarding and rewinding by moving this needle with my mouse. So I'm going to then go back over to the scissors, move my mouse to the scissors, make a little cut, and I'm going to delete this piece of paper that I don't want. Now here's what we have. What is the name of your restaurant? Feast Catering at Westfield. So I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's you see we get that little tiny bit of space right there. Oh, I got the spinning wheel of death. There we go, okay. We have this little bit of space right here. So he goes, <gasps> and then turns. Let's get rid of that. Okay, because we want to keep this as fast moving as possible. So we can go right here and I'm just going to make another cut with the scissors and then delete that little piece. Westfield. So I'm going to have lunch here today. What's the one? Okay, pro tip time. If your video has to be played multiple times, that is phenomenal because here's how it works, right? Come here, come here. Here's how it works. When your video is played over and over and over again on Instagram, the algorithm then sees it and it says, hey, everybody likes this video. Show it to more people because Drew has played it four times in a row. You've seen this. You watch a video like I was last night about how to make monkey bread and I watch it and I'm like, wow, that looks really good. I need to watch it again so I can get that recipe. Oh, I missed it. And then I watch it again. I think I watched it 10 times to get the recipe and write it down. That's a good thing. Okay, back to the video. Back to the show. That worked. All right, so. So I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's the one thing I should get? Uh, for lunch, half soup and sandwich, great soups, great, great sandwiches. sandwiches. Notice how Matt didn't go, oh, I love soups and sandwiches. He just nodded. It's not about Matt. Okay, find the place where he's done answering. Soups, great sandwiches. I hit the space bar to pause it after he's done speaking. I move my mouse over here to the scissors and I make another cut. So the next part, now I have two parts here. What is the What's the name of your business? East Catering at Westfield. So I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's the one thing I should get? Uh, for lunch, half soup and sandwich, great soups, great sandwiches. That's all. Great soups, great sandwiches. But let's add a piece where it tells a little bit more about who he is as a chef and a person. Why are we doing that? Because we wanna establish points of parity for the chef and his potential customers, for the business owner and his potential customers. So that when someone walks in, if they've watched this video, which they will, because he, the owner of the business, is going to share it over all his platforms, he's gonna call his mom and say, mom, I did an amazing video, you should watch it. They're gonna come in if they've seen it and they're gonna say, hey, I didn't know that you had an accent from Britain and Australia. That's really cool. My aunt lives in Australia. She's on a mission trip there. And now we've started that communication. We've started a relationship with someone else for this business. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Does that make sense? Yes? There's nobody really here, but I digress. Now I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Sometimes my jokes don't land. So I'm going to find the place where he asks a question about him personally, a personal question. Can we say accent or we gonna say brogue? <laughs> so so you got a little bit of an accent, I can I tell you. Yeah. So where, where does that come from? It's British with an Australian twang. Okay. Well, that's 
What does that even mean? British with an Australian twang? I don't know, but I want to know more. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we're... we're... <laughs> so, so you know... A little bit of an accent, I can I tell you. Yeah. I'm going to use my mouse. I'm going to drag this needle back to where he first asked that question, then hit the space bar to pause it. I'm going to say brogue. <laughs> so, right here is where he starts. And then when I go back over here, take my mouse to the scissors and click the cut. Now I make a cut right when he asked that question. And then I can delete this whole bunch of paper I don't want. There we go. Now watch this. Great soups, great sandwiches. So, so you got a little bit of an accent. Oh, I got I got a little bit of an unnecessary laugh in there. So I can just hit the plus button. And I want to get rid of that. Right there, I want to get rid of just that right here. And I'm going to go back and I'm just going to cut that little tiny piece of paper out. Because remember, when you were making those snowflakes as a kid or even as an adult, you cut big triangles, then you cut little ones. That's all I'm doing. Cutting out a big piece of this single strip of paper and cutting out very small pieces too. I don't know why I got really quiet when I said small pieces. Okay, watch. Soups, great sandwiches. So you got a little bit of an accent, I can I tell you. Yeah. So where, where does that come from? It's British with an Australian twang. British with an Australian twang. Okay. And twang. I wanna stop him after he says twang. Okay, and I'm gonna go back. I just hit the space bar to stop it. Back to my scissors, and I'm gonna make a cut there. Now I wanna find if there's any other personal information, I think there is in this video, that I can share with his audience. Okay, what okay. You, what did you think here? Like, how, how? How did you get here? <laughs> uh, worked, on the, worked on the cruise ships in the Caribbean. Ah. As a sommelier. So he worked on a cruise ship. Okay. On the cruise ships in the Caribbean. Oh, that's interesting. Let's put that in there. Worked on the cruise ships in the uh, worked on a... Worked on... There we go. Worked on a cruise ship. I'm just gonna move my mouse back over to the cut. I'm going to delete this piece of paper. And this is what you have. It's British with an Australian twang. On a cruise ships in the Caribbean. So he says, worked on a cruise ship in the Caribbean. And there's, I want to add something more there. And so I can just drag this back just a little bit. And it brings back the video. Twang. Worked on a cruise ships in the Caribbean. Ah! As a sommelier, which is one. Wines? Yeah. So he says sommelier, which is wines. I'm just gonna say just sommelier. Ah, as a sommelier. And that's all I'm gonna say, a sommelier. And then I'm going to make a little cut. Which is wines. Yeah, wines, absolutely, yeah. And I wanna get one more piece yeah, of information. Britain, you, how they, so how did Australia and Britain get together other than like, you know, colonization? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> Traveled the world. Okay. Into Thailand. So. The world. Okay. <laughs> traveled the world. Okay. He says, tra he says traveled the world. That's interesting. <laughs> traveled the. Uh, uh. He was about to say travel the world. I hit the space bar. I make another cut. I'm going to get rid of this big piece that I don't want. And then I'm going to listen to him. Traveled the world. Okay. Into Thailand. And then I uh, went to Australia, worked there for a year, got a contract there for a year. Wow. Hung out there, had a great time. Came back through New Zealand, Tahiti, Hawaii, to America, and uh, set up shop here. Hit the space bar again. Go back over here to the scissors and cut the tail end off. And here's what that looks like. What is the name of your restaurant? Feast Catering at Westfield. So I'm going to have lunch here today. What's the one thing I should get? Uh, for lunch, half soup and sandwich. Great soups, great sandwiches. So you got a little bit of an accent, I can I tell you. Yeah. So where, where does that come from? It's British with an Australian twang. Worked on the cruise ships in the Caribbean. Ah. As a sommelier. Traveled the world. Okay. Been to Thailand. And then I uh, went to Australia, worked there for a year, got a contract there for a year. Wow. Hung out there, had a great time. Came back through New Zealand, Tahiti, Hawaii, to America, and uh, set up shop here. There you go. We've just told a story about this business owner that gives his potential customers so many questions they could ask him. Oh, you went to Tahiti? You were on a cruise ship? You're a Samye or Solomonye, Samye, Sam? You're a Sam? That's so cool. So am I. Just points of parody that they can connect with. Salomye, Solomye. I can't say that word. All right, that's done. What is the name of your restaurant? Feast. The next thing I want to do is just add a layer of music. Now, we're 19 minutes into this video. Uh, I have gone incredibly slow. I've also gone on some tangents. 
you watching this video, you should be able to do this in 30 to 45 minutes. And let me tell you right now, there are agents, top producing agents, top producing entrepreneurs whose businesses have flourished, who've said, I've had to cut my marketing people, Drew. What do I do? There's a small business that said, Drew, I don't have money for a marketing person anymore. I need to make video. I'm going to lean in, Drew, to your master the marketing, your, your classes, learning how to do video so that I can do this on my own because I have to get my story out there and it's so valuable. And then when business gets back to normal, I hand this over as an SOP, standard operating procedure, directly to a marketing assistant. Now they can take care of it. But understanding and have the competency to know how to tell this story and focus on the other person it only works better for you and your business, and two, it builds confidence that you are capable of doing it. Now, back to the show. The next thing I wanna do here is I wanna add a sound, a music, a track to it. I could do one of two things. Number one, I could put it on Instagram without music and use a trending audio. That's cool, I can do that. Number two, I could add my own music here and then not have the benefit of a trending audio. But what if there is a way to do both? Have the music here, and get the benefit of a trending audio. Hmm, let me show you how. First I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my hard drive and I'm going to go to all the stock music that I have just downloaded from the internet. I pick this song here and I'm gonna drag it into my project and I'm gonna drag it over. I pick this song because what I wanna do is create a feeling in this video and I want that feeling to be something that's going to help people know, like, and trust Matt. So, restaurant videos, who do we think of? How about Guy Fieri with diners, drive-ins, and dives? I sound just like him. And I'm going to make this video feel just like one of his videos. Now watch this. What is the name of your restaurant? East Manor in Westfield. So, I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's the one thing I should get? Amuma? Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Now we use Premiere Rush because if I go over here to the audio file, I can click this button that says auto volume. And it's gonna use artificial intelligence to lower the volume because it knows it's behind someone talking. Watch. Click auto volume, give it a second. And again, I don't know why it's not working. Hold on, my computer's a little frozen. So if I just click auto volume, there we go. Now watch. What is the name of your restaurant? East Catering at West. It took the so, volume down. I have lunch here today. What's the one thing I should get? Uh, for lunch. Huh. And let's just rewind for a second because I want to show you the one thing that I forgot. Notice how when you started this video, it was a reaction, a genuine reaction for me that I get when somebody, a small business owner, an entrepreneur, an agent, when one of you calls and says, Drew, hey, oh my goodness. I just got a listing from your video that you created with me. I have a genuine surprise, shocked, honest reaction. So when you saw it, it encouraged you to keep going and watch it. That's called a hook. Now we need to get a hook for this video. To find that hook, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go back into my files. I'm gonna make myself a little smaller for a second. All right, I'm gonna go back into my files where I know that this is kept. All right, and I'm just going to find that whole video, grab it and drag it back in. Now in doing so, I just brought the entire video that I had in before back into the program. It didn't delete anything I was doing before, but I wanna find the reaction that I have from Matt where he goes, mmm, that sounds good. Cause it was a genuine reaction. So let's find that real quick. So if I go here, uh, let's see. I've uh, been working for other guys for many years. <laughs> so if I go here. He's a big guy. Not so much. I know. Just scrolling forward to find it. And you're still out. Get mercy. <laughs> Super sandwich, straight soups, great sandwiches. Okay. As much as possible. Mm, that sounds good. Oh, there it is. Fish on the menu and wine. Uh, don't make it that often. My favorite dish is beef wellington on croutons. Ooh. You see him? He's like, ooh, that sounds, that sounds good. good. <laughs> So I'm going to go find the place where he starts this reaction, right here. Back to my scissors, make a cut at the beginning. That sounds good. And make a cut at the end. 
I'm going to then chop off the parts that I don't want. And now I have this little tiny piece that's at the end of the video. I grab it by clicking and holding and drag it to the front of this entire video. Now watch this. That sounds good. What is the name of your restaurant? Peace. See, he said, ooh, that sounds good. Pro tip, I want his audio when he says that, I want that to be louder. So by clicking and highlighting this little piece, right, when I click on one of these pieces, it highlights it. So I click on this little piece of paper, go over here to my audio. I might just turn this up just a little bit by sliding the clip volume up. So now this is what I get. That sounds good. What is the name of your restaurant? They said, ooh, that sounds good. I want it to be just a little bit louder because I want people to hear that right there. That sounds good. That sounds good. What there is we go. Restaurant? Feast catering up Westfield. So I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's now we have a hook. Ooh, that sounds good. A viewer is going to watch and go, wait, what sounds good? I, I wanna know what sounds good. I don't wanna miss out on what sounds great. That's literally the FOMO people are going for. for. Um, FOMO means fear of missing out. I had to stop and explain that just in case. All right, back to it. That sounds good. What is the name of your restaurant? And I'm just gonna go here to the very end by moving the record needle over, highlight that audio and chop off the end of it. Like so. Now the very final part in this, okay, is going to be just adding some B-roll over top. B-roll is where we show the story that we are telling. Now Matt and I went and we spent 40 minutes total together. That includes walking in the, in the location, walking out. <laughs> We spent 40 minutes there filming, shooting these interview questions and shooting some B-roll. Now the B-roll I've stored on my computer and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it into this file. So if I move my little bubble over here and I go into the video, here's all of the additional video that we shot. I know that we shot a video very easily of the front of the building. So I'm gonna click this and drag it and drop it in. So the way this program works is anytime I put something on top of something else, you see what's on top of that. So if I had this thing of post-it notes here, and then all of a sudden I put another one on top of it, you're only going to see this one on top of it. But if I put another one on top of that, you'll only see this one. Make sense? Okay. So I'm going to look inside this video and find where I want it to start. Now, pro tip, instead of just showing this, Ah, as a sommelier. Which is just the front of his restaurant. Find the place where people are walking in and out, okay? There's somebody walking out, somebody walking across. Okay, I'm going to put my record needle right here, make a cut right there, go back this way, right here, and make another cut. Do you have to get permission of people to use them in this video? No, you're in a public space. If you were riding the new roller coaster at Six Flags, the King Daga, and you shot a video to review it, you wouldn't have to get permission of all 700 people you see in the background. So now watch, where am I gonna put that video? I'm gonna put it right when he says, or slightly after when he says, feast catering. I wanna show his restaurant, now watch. So I find it and I can move it by clicking on this piece and dragging it right and left. That sounds good. What is the name of your restaurant? Open the door for you. Door. Okay, but you notice there's a little audio there. You can hear it, right? Open the door He's for you. Up okay, so now I'm going to highlight that little piece, come over here to the audio icon, and just mute it so that you get this. What is the name of your restaurant? He's catering up Westfield. Okay, awesome. I want to keep adding though, because I have so much video. And let's just keep, oops, let's just keep sharing his story. All right, I'm going to go back to where I keep that video, which is right here. I'm gonna look for another one that I have showing the inside of the restaurant, which is right there. And I'm gonna drag that in. And I'm going to move my record needle over here to a place that I want it to start, which is right about there. I'm going to cut it, move it to the end of that part, cut it again, and then delete those two parts I don't want and slide this right over next to the other piece. Because I don't want that audio of this clip, I'm gonna go over here and click mute. 
and now this is what you have. What is the name of your restaurant? Feast Catering of Westfield. So I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's the one? You see how we're telling a story right now? We're telling a story. This is Feast Catering of Westfield. This is the outside, this is the inside. But let's keep telling that story because what he's gonna talk about is what he should order for lunch. Let's listen. What's the one thing I should get? Uh, for lunch, half soup and sandwich, straight soups, great sandwiches. So he's saying half soups and sandwiches. Let's show a story of him actually making something. I have here videos of him shopping, okay? So take a video of him shopping and I'm just gonna drag it in. And when I get it in here, right, you see this is kinda cool, watch. A little bit of an accent, I can tell you. He's just chopping the cucumber. Are there cucumbers in a sandwich that he makes? Probably not. Does it really look cool watching him chop fast? Yes. See a little bit of an accent. Okay, so I'm just going to chop the beginning and chop the end. And now I'm going to move this space, this one right next to it by dragging it over. And I'm not gonna mute it because I want that sound of him chopping. I'm creating a soundscape that someone can lean into. Sure today, what's the one thing I should get? Okay. I have more videos right here of him chopping an onion. Is there an onion in the sandwich? No, I'm sorry, a pepper. There's no pepper in the sandwich. However, it's still really cool to see him chopping a pepper. Okay, I made two little cuts there of the parts that I don't want, and I just moved this over. So now I have this. So I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's the one thing I should get? Uh, for lunch, the half soup and sandwich. Okay, I may just make this a little bit longer because you get one more chop in there by dragging the end of it out. The half soup and sandwich. Okay. Two cuts, watch. Lunch, half soup and sandwich, sprints. Okay. Then I'm going to add one more piece of video, which is him finishing the sandwich, which I believe is right here, and putting it on the panini maker. Okay, and I just drag that into my project. So then I use my record needle, and I'm gonna find the place where he just grabs it, right there, he's in mid-motion. Make a cut at the beginning and puts it on the panini maker. Make a cut at the end. Okay? And then I'm gonna cut off the beginning, cut off the end, take this one, move it right here. And then to finish this entire video, I'm going to take a, the last part of B-roll that I have, which is him stirring soups in the kitchen, and drag it in, that's it. So right here, stirring the soup, stirring the soup. Get rid of the parts I don't want by deleting. Remember, I just made little cuts in there to get rid of it. Okay, and if I wanna make it a little longer, I can. So watch this now, this is what we have. That sounds good. What is the name of your restaurant? Feast Catering of Westfield. So, I'm gonna have lunch here today. What's the one thing I should get? Uh, for lunch, a half soup and sandwich, spring soups, great sandwiches. See, a little bit of an accent, I can tell you. Yeah. So where, where does that come from? It's British with an Australian twang. What's on the cruise ships? So I can go here because that's a little loud. I just turn it down just a hair. I just highlight this clip because it's a little loud. Just turn it down. And then this one right here, I might turn that down just a little bit. And now I get this. Spray soups, spray sandwiches. See a little? I might turn that down actually a lot more than that. Bit of an accent, I can I tell you. Yeah. So where, where does that come from? It's British with an Australian twang. Well, it's on the cruise ships. And, the and that goes on for just a little too long. It's British with an Australian twang. Worked on the cruise ships in the Caribbean. Ah. As a sommelier, traveled the world. Okay. Been to Thailand, and then I uh, went to Australia, worked there for a year. Now, again, this was incredibly slow, but it took me 30 minutes. I'd say 28 minutes to do this. That's it. I have told a story. I've shown and not sold. You can do the same thing. Now, are you ready for this? If you've watched this long, oh boy, do I have a surprise for you. Now, I just got overly excited about that, but here's a surprise that I have. Remember last week we did ChatGPT? Or in general, we've used ChatGPT like in this video to write scripts. Well, there's another artificial intelligence algorithm called DAL-E, that's D-A-L-L-E dot -L -L -E two. It does what we do with voice and words, but with art. Now, why is that important for you? Now, let's say you're a real estate agent and you're looking for a client appreciation gift, okay? You're gonna to go to openai.com, all right? And you're going to sign in to Dall E right here. 
All right, and I'm going to, let's see, I need to log into my OpenAI account by logging in. And I'm not a robot. Funny that a robot asks me if I'm a robot. Enter my password. And now I'm into something called Doll E. So if you're a real estate agent, if you're an agent and you're looking for a thank you gift, how cool would it be to give them a one of one piece of art of their new dog, Fifi? You remember when you met them, they're your client and they have a dog named Fifi. Or let's say you're a small business and you know one of your clients has a dog named Fifi. That's a pit bull. Actually, let's just say it's a bull mastiff. So how about I give you a piece of art of your dog that you could hang on the wall? That's a one of one, like this. Um, let's just say a bull mastiff puppy eating ice cream. Ice, really? Ice cream, digital art. And then I hit enter. Now watch, in a matter of seconds, it's going to make me a one of one piece of art. I can go to Vistaprint or another printer and print this. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. Brutus, Brutus, I have a 145 pound bull mastiff. Come look, it's a picture of you as a puppy eating ice cream. Oh my God, it's adorable. I can download it, save it, and then print it and give it to my client and say, hey, I was thinking about you. What if I wanted to do this? How about a bull mastiff eating uh, a steak and I want it to be like Picasso. Pica Picasso? But Picasso, did I spell that right? Let me see, Picasso? Yes, now watch, generate. Watch this, like Picasso. It's going to paint me a picture in the style of Picasso of a bull mastiff eating a piece of steak. Uh, looks like a picture of a bull mastic eating steak. Adorable, not quite what I wanted. It's not perfect. Let's do it like Van, Van Gogh. Let's do it like Vincent, or just type Van Gogh. Let's see if what it does, Van Gogh. Let's just see. I'm interested to see if it comes up with something different because this is actually really cool. Okay, this one looks like a painting. Could be just a picture that they pulled. What if I did it, say, uh, digital art? It seems to like that. Digital art, hmm. Bull Mastiff eating a steak, digital art. It's gonna create something digitally for me. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at this one. The point is, we just used something called Dolly, which is artificial intelligence, to create a one of one gift that is yours. There's no copyright, it's yours to give to your client. Talk about setting yourself apart. So from here, I'm going to download this video by share, clicking share. I'm going to save it to my hard drive right here. And then I'm going to upload it to Instagram. If you want to, you can link here and it will automatically share to those sites for you. That That's how that works. And we go from there. So I've already downloaded this. I wanna show you how if I put it on my phone, how I can add a trending audio and still use the audio that I have. So I'm going to cast my phone here to this computer screen, if it shall let me. Let's see if it'll let me. There we go. I'm hoping that this is still recording. Okay, and I'm gonna say start a new video. Hey, it's me. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hit the plus sign, find that video, okay? I'm going to find that video right here. I'm gonna hit add, I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna click these two music icons right there. And I'm gonna click controls. Okay, you can see I control the camera audio here. But what if I wanted to add a trending audio? I'm gonna pick one that's probably around 200,000 reels, because if you choose one with 1.6 million, you're just gonna be lost in the noise. So I'll click wave. I just added that, but I don't want it. So I go back here to the controls and I lower the volume to let's say two, three or four. Can't even hear it. And I hit done. Move it down, let's say, to three. 
hit done. Next thing I do, I go to next, go to edit cover, go to my can I just add in here. What should you order for lunch? Right there. Okay. And then I hit done. And then I share it. And I will stop casting my phone here. Stop mirroring. Okay. And it's as simple as that. There's the little pro tip hack. Feel free to rewind this so you can play that again. I'm actually gonna make sure that this is a huge part of the video so you can see it. So that's all we have for today. I hope that this helped. If this was beneficial to you, do me a favor, leave a message in the comments below of what you liked, what you didn't like. And if you wanna see this and more videos just like this, go ahead and follow me or subscribe. Thank you so much. Remember, your success with video marketing is all that I care about. I know that this will create the connections with your audience to help them know, like, and trust you so you end up doing more business. Until then, talk to you soon.